Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to MRC on a Wednesday night at seven o'clock, which can only mean that it is the time for comp tier. And it's round six of the season 13 championship here at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in Baku. As we just see the first car, the Williams, I think, coming out of the pits, who's retired already. Don't quite know why that is, but we move, we move. Anyway, I am joined tonight. Oh, I'm chatted up, by the way. Hello. And I'm joined tonight by um, a fellow elite tier driver. Um, and we tackled this place together on Monday night. Um, it's Ants joining me tonight. So Ants, good evening. How are you doing? What's going on? I have no audio. And can you hear me? Uh, hi, hi. Are you there? I'm sorry. Yeah, I. <laughs> I was the one who was muted. That's why. Ah, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I've been I've been speaking since earlier on, and yeah. So hello everybody. Sorry for for this. Um, yeah. Uh, well, we've got Baku. Our first driver to uh, set a lap will be Freddie. Uh, he made his first lap, uh, his first race last week, and finished B two. Yeah, so I I couldn't hear you. I couldn't. I had no game sound yeah. either for a second there. That was really bizarre. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Anyway, looks like we're we're all good to go now. And yeah, as yes. you said, Friddy is in the Red Bull and coming towards the end of the second sector around Azerbaijan. It's a nice camera angle there, seeing the car come towards us, and he should get a sector time in a moment 118.7 through the second sector and then this third sector which is just basically a long flat out run to the line with a few flat out corners so and we've got um smith yes. f1 uh, just coming up to the line. Do you want to take us around for a lap of the Baku I circuit? I give it a go, yes. So, uh, he's only got 70% ERS left, so that's very little amount. So, you want to break around the 150 meter board around around turn one and make sure you don't hit the, the wall on the exit because it looks like there's plenty of space and there actually isn't. It, it comes right back at you. Yes, as we've got another uh, long straight in this first sector and here you want to break around the 120 meter mark maybe 125 if you're not too confident you can hit you can hit the wall no you need to go very close to the wall and maximize the the track width here's the same you can go very wide here and carry as much speed as you can 
here it's pretty easy. I don't know what what you think, but you can lose your your rear end very easily here. Uh, and this is the world famous tricky section, the castle section of uh, of Baku. Uh, traction is pretty hard here, and this is uh, the I'm stupid bit. It's so <laughs> narrow. Uh, yeah, I mean, just survive this place and try and yeah, do like spit. Try and uh, maximize the width of the track. Here it's absolutely flat out in wet conditions. It can be a bit trickier. But here is another tricky uh, braking zone as it goes downhill. You go to the right hander. Don't take too much curve here. And another, you're going downhill, but uh, the the track levels out. Same here. Don't take too much uh, too much curve and don't go over the curb. Uh, this is pretty straightforward, of course, it's a straight, but we've got a right hand right here, and you can very easily hit the wall, and from, from here on, it's pretty straight on. If you use full ERS, you're going to be opening the ERS in right now, and this is a lap around Baku. And Smith has stopped before the line, for some yeah, reason. Yeah, he, he backed off a bit uh, at some point, and I, th I think he realised that maybe the ERS was not optimal for him because he used all well 30% of his battery to have top speed on the first straight but once your lap starts uh, the run to turn one is very short so you don't actually gain a lot of time and you, you end up finishing the lap with very little ERS well anyway uh, we've got Freddy on 143.0 yep yeah, and then he's already uh, back in the pits and Bobo in second in the yep. Aston Martin with a 143.3. Not many lap Easy. times have been set as of yet. We've got about 11 mm. minutes to go in this session and there's quite a few drive. Well, we've lost three already. Three have retired. Wookie, Lost Infinity and Devil Rejected. But there's quite yep. a few drivers remaining there that are still to set a lap time. One of whom is Airways, who's just coming to finish his lap. It seems like it's going to be a pretty long uh, qualifying session then, <laughs> if uh, not many people are setting laps. Uh, what is B7, nah, B17 as uh, invalidated? Um, so Airways is visiting uh, the, the runoff area of Turn 1. Yeah, he went quite a bit deep after finishing mm. his lap there. We've got quite a few cars still in the pits. There's a Haas there. Who's that in the Haas? Is that G-Star? It's, it's Saver and G-Star, yep. So it was showing me there that G-Star had a lap time of 144.3, but I'm guessing that that was invalidated because it yes, hasn't shown it up was, yeah. officially on the timing boards. Well, he, he can't set a lap, so he's probably uh, invalidated it on purpose. Because oh, it's very hard to invalidate a lap around this track. Around this track. <laughs> to invalidate it, you need to invalidate your car. <laughs> yes. Yes, and we do have quite a few reserves uh, in this race tonight. We counted at least four from um, Elite Tier. I think there's five yep. from Expert and a couple from Sport Tier. So a bit of a makeshift grid for yes. the race tonight. Well, to be fair, we've got... We've got two drivers missing. We could have both been on uh, driver comms. <laughs> we could have. I, I don't think this is the, the track I would want to be uh, racing oh, no, and talking oh, at no. the same time. Oh no! And we don't we don't know if it's going to be raining either. So <laughs> yeah, and we experienced that. Idea. We experienced oh, yeah. that already yeah. on Monday night, of course. I don't know about you, but it, it was one of the most horrible races that I had ever had. Rain, rain around Baku is ugh, so many corners where you can lose it, and you need you need to be, to be concentrated all all the way. Yeah, it was um, just felt very slippery, like slipperier than other tracks I've I've raced in the wet. I don't yeah. know why that was, but yeah, you know, I feel like there's a lot less grip on this track compared to previous uh, previous games. Um, so that's one thing, but if you go for lower wings as well, you're definitely not going to get any grip on this game. And Frid, uh, it's Stube. Stube has gone second on 143.3, the championship leader. 
Yeah, so still not many drivers setting lap times. Let's see. Uh, B17's invalidated. Jackster mm -hmm. is about to start a lap in the Alpha Tauri. Just coming up the long pit straight before the start finish line in turn one. But yeah, apart from that, there's really not a great deal of action out on track at the moment. Yeah. Well, some of the drivers sitting it out are, yeah, T1 drivers. Uh, we've got Thomas Hornet as well from T1, so we've probably got five of them. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, if they if they can't, if they're not allowed yeah. to set lap times, they're just going to be sitting around in the pit lane for yeah, the next yeah. seven minutes. Mm -mm. G-Star's been driving around, but that's about it. Yeah, maybe just trying to get acquainted with the track yeah. once again. It's definitely one of those tracks where you need to drive a few laps and get your confidence, because... If you don't have any confidence, A, you're going to be slow, B, you're going to be finding a wall very quickly. Freddy sets a 142.0, so a big wow. improvement for him. Pole position by over a second currently. Is he in the right tier? <laughs> That's 1.3 seconds quicker, wow. Yeah. Judging nice. by the turnout tonight, I think CompTIA needs all the drivers they can get, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, my is finishing a lap, but is it a timed lap? It could be a timed lap. Timed lap. He doesn't have any fuel left, but he won't re really matter about it if it's just a, an in lap. Yeah, he's going to set a lap, and it's a slight improvement, not much. Five, ten, uh, five hundredths. He'll be expecting more. He's got much more pace than, than that armor. Jackster behind him, crossing the line as well in fifth, but yeah, he is on the medium tyres. Mm -hmm. Yes, elite tier drivers, uh, for people in the chat, can't set a lap. And uh, expert drivers, so tier two, they can only uh, set laps on medium tyres. So this is what Jackster's done. So we've got just, well, it's just ticked over to under five minutes left now. Yay. <laughs> we really are just counting down here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, and there's, and there's going to be a five minute break. Five minute break for what? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So Jamo is out. He's down in P15. And he's already given up on his lap. Yeah, he's That's absolutely coasting around. Yeah, has he got any damage? He doesn't, so... I'm not sure. Maybe he's doing one of my strategies, just not setting it up and starting at the back. Well, if it was you, you'd be on a set of intermediates, wouldn't you? That... It depends on what the race is going to be. If it's a dry race, yeah, intermediates. But if it's a wet race, uh, I'd be going out on uh, dry tyres and keep the, the race tyres available. Yep. Sanning has joined. So we've got, uh, we, we've got another tier 2 driver for the, for the race. So he'll be, he'll be starting in P19, I guess. I don't know if we've got anybody else... Uh, in the waiting list. Yeah, I haven't Come noticed anyone else. Improve. I think Airways is improving by about a second, so that could bring him up to P4. But if he improves any further than that, he's looking at, at the front row. Yeah, he's just coming up to the line. P4. Yeah, P4. Yeah, he's still quite some way away from, from the guys ahead, but yeah. Being a he's tier, on the... tier 2 driver. Yeah, he's on the mediums, so that's yep. not a bad lap time at all. Mm -hmm. Smith is coming back out for another effort, and he's reversing down one of the escape roads. Don't reverse too quickly. Mm -hmm. Oof, no one behind him, fortunately, but yeah, he's 
out on track. Yeah, Bobo drivers as well. will be very, very aware of that during the race. It's a big yeah. track, but hmm. I'm surprised we didn't see more of that on on Monday night. To be honest, in Elite with the with the rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, for some drivers who aren't used to ABS and everything, oh, Fox has gone around. He was probably doing that to let the, the Aston Martin through, yeah. He's so also he's, uh, set a 42.6. Yeah. So yeah, another man into the 42s. Point. And that's on the mediums as well, wow. Yeah, yeah. A very respectable time. So Bo maybe you can follow uh, Bobo in P4. Yep. The Aston Martin driver. Yep, in the first sector on soft tyres so this hopefully wow. well he's improved by almost wow. a second in the first sector okay so this is going to be a proper lap then yeah this could be a contender for Freddy's pole position as he comes into the castle section that you mentioned before that looked to be pretty committed through there and now into the slow right left which leads you onto the this short straight and I found this quite treacherous in the wet on Monday. Hansel, yeah. I don't know about you. Couldn't yeah, quite yeah, that go first full throttle through uh, there. Yeah, yeah, that first kink. Uh, I think you could take it full throttle, but I think it, yeah. You'd, you'd be very, very close to the wall. I, I didn't take it at any point full, full throttle. No, uh, really Jameis set a 144.2. Up into and P7. Bobo was a second and a half up pretty much on the second sector yeah. marker so um, this could well be pole position into the 141s it's going to be 141 or something 41.8 yeah super lap yeah yeah and we've got freddy who's just started his his uh final hot lap he's in sector one right now yep coming up to turn number three big braking zone the left hander and pushing right to the edge of the track there but avoiding the wall on the outside and then turn four the right hander should see the first sector time popping up in a second and he's very very marginally down on his best three hundredths of a second he's okay. got plenty of time in this lap to recover that and maybe take pole position back Our mine P6 isn't improving. He's uh, eight uh, eight hundredths down, so he's not looking for pole position yet. And Stoop is about to f cross the the end of sector one. Four tenth improvement, so he's looking at P2 currently. And with yep. Freddy not improving, he's under he's in danger. Yeah, we'll see in a moment. Freddy's second sector time. He's now three and a half tenths uh, up on his best, so. If he can just hold it together out of that last uh, traction zone, it's really just full throttle up to the line. So we'll see if Freddy can take back pole position. Yep, he'll be relieved to, to have four tenths improvement into sector two, because sector three is fine. And it is. Only just, just. Just takes it. What about Stoob? Our oh, mine's improving by, by seven tenths. And Stube yet yeah, is improving as well as three tenths, but he's dropped a bit of time. Arma's going to be crossing the line first, though. He goes into P5. And Stube, I don't think, is going to have enough of an improvement to catch his teammate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he does get into the 42s, though. Right, so think... four guys into the 32s, three of them in tier three, so pretty good. Yep, and that's it, because Jamer is coming into pit road, as is the driver behind him. Not quite sure who that is. It's an Aston Martin, so maybe Bobo. But that yep. is it for qualifying. We've got our grid, 19 drivers it's showing at the moment. Uh, yeah, Fanning did get into the car and put himself up yep. into ninth place in the Alfa Romeo. He had a good race as well. He got a podium in... Uh... I think it's a podium in tier two. So he could be a contender 
in this race. And they'll have, I'm guessing yes. that time will have been on set on the mediums as well. Maybe we can have a look. Better hope so. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it will show it on the next screen anyway, so. Yep, there we go. So the grid is set and we've got Friddy in the Red Bull in pole position, Bobo in second place, the Fox in third on the mediums, Stoob in P4, Armour Red in P5, Jackster in P6, then Airways in seventh, J Murray in eighth, Fanning in ninth, B17 in tenth, and then we've got Smith F1 and Devil Rejected are the drivers who set lap times. And from there on, it's anyone who didn't uh, post the time. So Bergen, Lost Infinity, G Star, Wookie, Laupi, Savior, and Dumbest Hornet at the back mm -hmm. of the grid. Don't know how it's organized those drivers, but unfortunately for Dumbest Hornet, he's right at the back. Yeah, I think they do it by. Um... Uh, driver numbers, because I'm usually at the back with number 97. Uh, okay. So if you want to do a true last to first challenge, you've got to set yourself <laughs> a high number. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we've got another quick Dutch driver in the in the league, in uh, Bobo. We've got enough of them. Please don't join. <laughs> It's like the opposite of a of a, an advert. <laughs> exactly. So we'll have a short break now between quality yes. and the race of about five minutes. It looks like it's going to be sunny and dry, which I'm sure the drivers will be relieved about. Yeah, and I think we will be relieved about that as well. <laughs> Hopefully, that will limit limit uh, the amount of safety cars we have. Uh, safety cars around this track are horrible because they are incredibly long yes how, how long is the safety safety car lap around this track especially in the rain is it like two minutes 40 50 it's... yeah maybe even maybe even yeah. three minutes i don't i don't maybe, remember yeah. how long they were taking on monday but they they were sure were dragging on yeah yeah going through that castle section in the in the safety car is oh. I, I don't know how they manage that I mean, I don't know how they manage that in an, in an F1 anyway, so. Yeah, and, well, when we, because we had, I think we had a couple of safety cars on, on Monday in Elite. And I think yeah. it was during the first one that I, I started to think that maybe the race was going to be longer than one hour. And um, yeah. if, you're, if you save your footage using, like, the inbuilt, you know, PlayStation capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's limited to one hour so i was thinking do i have to save my footage now and then make another recording for the rest of the race yeah and i ended up doing that but um oh looks like we might be getting away a bit early oh, looks like someone might right. have triggered the start but anyway it's the formation lap first and we can have a look at some information here on the tires and in the top 10, it's mostly mediums. We've got the Fox River 8 starting on the hards and Jay Muir is on the softs. B17 also on the hards, but everyone else in the top 10 on the medium tires. And below that, it's a fairly even spread. Only a couple of drivers going for the soft tires, maybe gambling on an early safety car. Yeah. Um... Having most people on medium tyres isn't too surprising. Uh, the grip isn't bad on those tyres, so uh, they won't be wanting the softs, which don't last around this track. <laughs> Even I can, uh, can vouch for that. It's not a very nice tyre, so you'll, you'll want to avoid it at, at, at any cost, unless you've got a, a, a sprint at the end. And so we get the race strategies graphic coming up on our screen and it's mm -hmm. should be a one stop if you're starting on the mediums medium to hard you can obviously if you're starting on the hard go the other way with that hard to medium have a bit more grip at the at the end of the race potentially but yeah i think it was suggesting for the softs that you'd really be looking at a two-stop race which 
is going to lose you a chunk of time. But this is all assuming that we don't get any safety cars, and I think that it's really quite a, quite likely. Yeah, that's that's another thing about the the mean tyres. They give you that flexibility. If it's an early safety car or an eight safety car, it still works with your strategy. You can adapt. Whereas hards, if you if you start on hards and there's a safety car on lap three, it kind of kills your strategy. You'll be on slow tyres at, at the restart, and they will yeah, not work as nicely as you you'd want. Freddie now leading the field up to the grid. Bergen already there because he was disqualified on the formation lap. Uh, but we've got a 19 car grid, so not quite a full house tonight, but still enough drivers for a decent race, we hope. As the grid now with Domus Hornet right at the back, preparing to get underway in Baku in CompTIA. It's time to run down to one of the scariest turn ones of the season. Yes. Can I get a view f at the front? I don't think I can because this game is rubbish. So we'll go on board, on board with Fox. Board, yeah. Five red lights. And they go out and we're underway for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And it looks like the best start. Bobo into turn one will take the lead with Fridi alongside him and then the two Ferraris looking further back. Has everyone got through safely? It looks like they have. Two yep, has drivers there right in the yep. back. But a great getaway for Bobo, although Fridi is now coming back on the straight towards turn number three. And Fridi going a bit wide, which loses him the position. Bobo hanging on to oh, the lead. It's very tight between Airways and Fanning. Very tight against the wall. I don't know if there's any damage there for Fanning. It could Let's be a bad. See. No, he, he looks fine. Yeah, his front wing looks okay. We've got Lost Infinity, I think, off at the back. Yeah, oh, he's down yeah, the yeah. escape road. That's at surprising. He's on soft tyres. He's on soft tyres. He should be absolutely fine in these uh, these sections. Yeah, and he's struggling, I think, to get out of the escape road and back onto the track. But up at the front. Uh, we've got Bobo, Fridi and Stube is the lead Ferrari. His teammate Fox on the hards might drop back a bit in these early stages with loads of medium tyres uh, coming up behind him. But if he can just stay patient, he might come uh -oh. back soon as Wookie is out and we've got a VSC. Do you see what happened there, Ant? I haven't, no. I was, lo I was looking at Saviour and... Uh... I just saw walking the wall, so no, unfortunately, um, maybe there was contact because it's not a, a usual place to lose it in dry conditions. We were talking about it earlier on in wet conditions, it's not flat out, but in the dry on very, very new tyres, you should be fine, so maybe there was contact with another driver there, but can't tell for sure. Yeah, I think that seems the most likely scenario that maybe there was side by side with someone through there and uh, some contact maybe forced him into the wall but we can only speculate we've got Saviour and Domus Hornet taking advantage of the VSC by coming into the pits to change tyres I don't know if they uh, it looks like a wing change for Hornet Saviour though just pitting onto a set of hard tyres And we're back mm. to green flag racing. Yeah, these three guys at the back will be hoping for a safety car sometime soon. It's not a fun, a fun thing to drive uh, just on your own in a race. No, and I wondered, did you notice, Dan, what, what tyre Saviour started the race on? Was he on the mediums? I think he was on mediums, yeah. I can have a quick look. Um, He started on the mediums, yep. Yeah. yeah, so he's got his mandatory pit stop out of the way. But again, we do expect there to be safety cars in this race. We've had a VSC already. It might not be long till we get a full safety car, but we'll try to hope that doesn't happen. 
yeah, uh, he's the MRC goat, but I, I wouldn't even expect him to go to the end on these hard tires. 25 laps is a long way to go. Freddy is closing in on the back of Bobo and towards the first corner. Bobo going defensive. Freddy setting the fastest lap and then getting squeezed Ooh. on the outside by Bobo. But no contact, yeah. I don't think. No. As we now yep. have DRS enabled on lap three, this might be Freddy's chance. Stu will be enjoying this. Uh, he's three tenths away from the from the DRS. So he wants them to fight. Yeah, they kept it clean going into turn three, though. Freddy wasn't quite close enough there, I think. Oh, oh no, what was that? Stoob. Stoob hit the wall, yeah. He overshot it. And the front wing has come off that Ferrari. Yeah, now he's got to be very careful and try and let people through if he can, because... They'll be right behind him and B17 that will be out on the pressure and oof, safety car. Yeah, too many things happening at once. <laughs> As usual on this track. Yeah, yeah, but Maylander th th feels like it's his time to shine now. He's he's been shining quite a bit, I think, in um, in comp tier so far this season. Certainly <laughs> the races that I've seen. The B17 was. Um, yeah, he was. He looked to have crashed out on the right-hand side uh, around turn five, the sort of turn mm -hmm. five and six chicane. So again, maybe that was contact with a, another driver. All right. So who could be pitting uh, this early on? Uh, we've got Jamo in P9, who's on two lap old softs. So maybe he would like to go to a set of medium tires, for example. Because from from here to the end of the race, you can maybe do a two stop. So being on mediums keeps that set of uh, halves free for later on in the race if you want it. Bobo um, in the pits from Infinity the lead. Well. Oh, that's a bit more surprising. Okay, so I guess he's going to be going for halves. Yeah, it's not. It's nothing to do with uh, wing damage or anything. It is just a strategy call. So he has yeah, gone yeah. to the halves. And it's pretty much, as you were saying before, and about if you start on the hards and there's a safety car on lap three, it's, it messes your strategy up a bit. And yeah. lo and behold, that's what's happened. Yeah, it, it, messes up, it messes it up unless there are many, many safety cars in the race and you can just stay on your tyres, stay in the lead and just go do your only pit stop at the end. But yeah, you need plenty of safety cars for that. Well, there's still plenty of time. 22 oh, laps still. Of on, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. We've got plenty of drivers on uh, softs though now. We've got Airways, G Star, Laupi, and uh, Lost Infinity who has just switched uh, to hot tyres. Interesting call. What do you think the, the thinking is behind that? I'm, I'm not sure that's what I would have done. Drivers at the front now have caught up with Bert Mylander in the red safety car. Sorry, I was talking and I had muted myself. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I was talking and I was thinking, wait, wait, I'm talking. Yeah, no, why, no, why is he interrupting me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I was, I was uh, saying that, yeah, hard tyres from here to the end isn't really feasible. I wouldn't have put the, the hards on if they were my only set of hards. If I have two sets of hards, why not? Because you can always pit again and go, go to the end of the, with, the, with a new set of hards. But yeah, I feel like a, a set of hards this early in the race again is uh, not really throwing them away, but you'll be hoping that they would at least take you to a, a late safety car in the race and then put uh, a new set of uh, mediums or, or softs, depending on the, the amount of laps left. Yeah, well, this is one of the demands, I think, with a race like this, where 
you, you know that the chances of safety cars happening is quite high. Yeah. Because then whenever the safety car comes out, you, you have to be thinking about whether or not there's going to be another one. So it's not always mm. the right time to pit when the safety mm. car comes out because you might have to wait for the next one. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, driving around this track is a bit of a headache because yeah, you've got to be constantly concentrating on keeping your, your car in the right direction. <laughs> That's a very important thing. But you've also got to think of ahead of yourself and trying to think, okay, where do I want to be in five, ten laps in this race? What type of tyre do I need? Is the tyre wear good enough? Um, there's a lot of strategy going on in this race because of the amount of safety cars you can get and how much a, safety, um, a pit stop costs you. It's very long on this track. Yeah, this is, it's the kind of track that, it, well, to me anyway, it rewards driving within yourself a little bit, actually, because you can, mm. everyone obviously wants to go as fast as they can and use all of their pace. But if you do that round here, those walls and barriers are so close and any small mistake is likely to, to give you damage. So your best bet often is just to keep your car clean, keep your car in one piece, keep yes. all the bits on it and uh, avoid pitting for repairs. Yeah, uh, this track, Monaco, Jeddah as well in some regards. Uh, it's about survival. If you finish, there's a good chance of you scoring points, scoring points even, even more so here in tier three because all of the higher tier drivers, they get demoted. They get demoted four positions each. So if you're a tier three driver, just stay on track finish the race yeah and you'll get quite a few points out of it yep 100 percent. if you're listening tier three drivers to whilst this is going on to tier one wisdom <laughs> yep <laughs> exactly basically safety don't car. drive 100 percent. survive yes safety car is coming in and freedy is backing up the pack so we'll see when he drops the hammer. He should have a grip advantage on mm -hmm. the fox behind him. And he's just waiting for the right moment to accelerate away. And there he goes. And he's got a slight edge on fox coming into turn one. Smith's been done though. Bobo's already one position up into P5. Oh, and we've got um, uh, oh, a Red that's Bull devil. spinning in the background. That's Devil, yep. Almost oh, spinning into the, oh. the pit lane. Apart from that, I think everybody's through cleanly. Yep, it looks that way into turn three now. Yeah, it all looks single file through this sequence of corners. Freddy trying to build a gap at the front. Armour Red has not had the greatest of restarts he's already a second back on fox in the ferrari and he's got jackster and bobo closing in for his position in the podium at the moment bobo looks quick at the moment even on the hard tires yeah yeah these fresh tires they won't be the best just yet but they're good enough with, with, with the pace he's got they're good enough At the back, it's looking clean. I don't think anybody's side by side in that place where Wookie had an accident, so everybody's through safely. That's good to see for once. And oof, I think it's turn 15, that downhill braking zone, that scares me every time. I don't know about you, but I feel like it, it can go so wrong so easily. Yeah, that's the, the left hander, isn't it? At yeah. The end of the yeah yeah I I I hate that corner, <laughs> absolutely hate it. Uh, There's plenty it, of time to gain there, but oh, we've got I think the two Mercedes going side by side in turn one. Devil has retired from the race and triggered safety car number two. Number two. Right. <laughs> um. Seven laps, two safety cars. Uh, hopefully that will mean that we'll get 
it's a racing gain on lap nine if we're lucky start of nine uh, lap nine so we'll have 18 laps to, to survive we've got lost infinity pitting again he's gone for a set of medium tires and he's crossed the white line so he's got five seconds so he'll probably pit again at the end of this lap to get rid of his uh, penalty hello can you hear me I can hear you yeah okay okay I, th I, I, I could really hear dead silence so I thought there wasn't oh, any <laughs> noise coming from you not just you being silent I thought there wasn't anyway um, no, I yeah just... nobody else could react nobody else could react and I think the soft tires might might pit again Do you think the guys at the front who have done six laps now on their tyres, do you think they'll pit? Hmm. Depends on what they believe. Uh, if they believe uh, there'll be many more safety cars. If they think there are going to be two, three more safety cars, they'd better stay out. But if they don't believe there's any, any safety car, this is the time to pit. This is oh, the we'll thing, see. though. A, a, a strategy, a good strategy, can be a bad strategy depending on on your safety car. So it's all it's all about luck here. Freddy's coming in, Fox River as well. They were pushing quite hard coming into the pit lane yeah. there, and it looks like nearly everyone is coming in. We've got Bobo, Jama, Airways, Savior, Fanning, Stube have all stayed out. Bergen as well, Domist Hornet. Everyone else is coming into the pits so that's really switched up the order quite significantly yep and Bobo will be very happy about this because um, I think he was in the lead earlier on and now he's in the lead but with an eight position gap between him and Freddy so yeah this, this has worked out pretty nicely for him considering he's only got four laps of wear yeah he's up one position from where he started on the grid, P2. Uh, Saviors is now a long way up from where he started, started in 18th place, now up to fourth with this safety car. Domus Hornet as well, another big winner from this situation at the moment, up 11 places. Mm -hmm. He, of course, was right at the back. Yep, it's the early pits is uh, benefiting from it right now, and... We we'll have to see how this develops. Um, so, which drivers have we got from tier three? We've got Bobo, Jema. We've got Stoob, Freddy, uh, Stoob. Yes, yeah, Stoob. Oh, I, I was expecting Stoob to be much lower down the order because of his um, his crash, but no, the safety car saved him, so he's P six. Yeah, so it's P three currently for Stoob in uh, in tier three. I don't know yet for Freddy, but then Freddy, Armar, and Smith and Lost Infinity. We've got seven or six tier three drivers left in this race. We'll benefit from uh, the higher tier drivers being uh, demoted. Lost Infinity, I think, is having a bit of a nightmare with the uh, with the pit lane. I think he got another yeah, five second yeah. penalty when he came by that time, unfortunately. Well, the thing is, that the game sometimes uh, penalises you for crossing the line, sometimes it doesn't. There's a very simple remedy to this. Just don't cross the, the white line when you go in and when you go out of the pit lane. Absolutely. So, so thankfully enough for him, uh, he could serve it under safety car conditions, but yeah. So this should be the last lap that we have behind the safety car, I think. I think it was yeah. lap seven when it when it came out. So we should be going again on lap ten. And Lost Infinity, I think, is just gonna drive up to the back of the pack now. He's not going to risk coming into the pits again and crossing nah. that fateful white line. 
can't believe that. <sighs> so everyone yeah. has so pitted at least once twice. so far. <sighs> Yeah, lost infinity now, pretty much up to the back of the train. Which will mean that we shouldn't have any delays. There's no reason for the safety car not to come in. Yeah. At the end of this lap. Do you think we'll get five safety cars tonight? Oh, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't hope not. But I, I, honestly, I don't think we will. I don't think we will. I think we might get another one. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we will. I don't know if that's me being optimistic for once, but... <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> we can cross our fingers. Safety car coming in. So now Bobo will be acting as the safety car up to the start-finish line. He'll be backing up the pack and waiting for the right moment to take it away and get us back to green flag racing. Interesting that Airways didn't come into the pits there on his softs. He's done five laps on those softs now. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he must be betting on the safety car in the next five laps or something. Hmm. This is a late restart from Bobo, really yeah. taking it up to the line, but he's going now. It seems like it's worked. He's putting away. Yeah, that's got him a nice gap into turn one, and... Armour has overtaken Jackster on that restart. Yeah. Once again, everybody's gone th cleanly through turn one, so well done, everybody. Turn is tricky, but it's fine. Well done. Yeah, turn one's been okay. It's, uh, it's all the, the other, other corners. <laughs> oh, and there was... Who was that? Domus Hornet. Looked like he had a bit of a late... Uh, Dive up the inside of Bergen there into turn three. Um, Luckily, I don't, see, I don't see that. Don't think they made contact. Looks like Hornet's front wing is fine. Freddy going past Fox for P9 there. And James so. is holding uh, holding on uh, pretty nicely. Yeah, those gaps between the front three are fairly fairly evenly spread. At the moment, airways went a bit wide there, but yeah, yeah. You know, Careful on that warning. corner, everybody, because that will give you a, a a warning, and you could get seconds. You could get a few seconds, and you don't want them around this track, especially with the amount of safety cars we get. It can cost a few positions. Yeah, that's probably the main point on the track where you might be getting warnings towards a potential time yeah. penalty that's probably what happened to Ugoni in our race i think he was he went down from p2 to p4 i think yeah because of the of of penalty so jamer set in the Very fastest expensive. lap of the race so he's settled in quite nicely on mm. his mediums now closing in on yep. on bobo Yeah, he's using his ERS, but not too much of it though, so as long as he's staying in behind him and, and as long as he stays in behind him until the start of the next lap, uh, he'll be in DRS and he'll be able to save a bit more ERS and it'll all be worth it. Fanning coming under pressure uh -oh. from Armour. Armour has given the next safety car and Smith has got a five second penalty for a, a collision with Armour. Although Armour had already DNF'd, I don't understand the point of that penalty. Was it contact that caused Armour to crash, or was he already losing it? I don't know. Well, the message came up after. 
okay. uh, after the retirement, so I don't know if there's... Yeah, I don't know. Right, number three. <laughs> <sighs> oh dear. So I think my uh, optimism was uh, was a bit wrong. Well, you said three, and this yeah, might be the last means... one. <laughs> it could be, it could be, but that means that there will be no more safety cars for 13 laps. Yeah. We only Cl had one lap without a safety car, so... Yeah, maybe clutch you get straws, but who knows. So maybe this could be the time for Airways uh, to pit for hard tyres, unless he believes in another safety car. Well, let's see. He's coming in. Jamer as well yes. is coming in. Oh, Jamer as well. Okay. Saviour also. Yeah, quite a few drivers coming in. Fanning, Bergen. Those two biz. Right, so this is where it's getting interesting because we've got a very big delta of uh, of wear between the cars at the front and the cars at the back. We've got Thomas Hornet in P3 who's got 10 laps on his mediums, albeit uh, quite a few of them were under safety car conditions, but still. 10 laps of wear and at the back absolutely nowhere so uh, they're going to be quicker at the back slower at the front uh, they'll have to be able to react to whatever happens in front of them yeah I think Dumbest Hornet pitted uh, on the under VSC on lap one and has stayed out ever since so he's obviously made up a lot of ground from that he started in yep. P19 and is now up to third. He's going to have a lot of pressure, I think, from Freddy the pole sitter <laughs> on the yeah. restart on much fresher tyres. And then Bobo and Stube at the front, eight laps on the hard, so they should still be fine when we get going again. Maybe we can have a look at the uh, championship standings. What we do could we do have? if you have if you have them available <laughs> or to hand. I'm looking for them. It's a bit slow. Okay, so Stu P1, he's got a 25, uh, no, 26 point gap to Airways, but Airways is now. Uh, a tier 2 driver so he will not be winning the, the title he just can't um, then it's a 32 point gap to Dacon but Dacon has left uh, so in the end it's a 34 point gap to Melvin who's not racing tonight so any any point that Stoop scores tonight he'll be extending his uh, his lead to the championship to quite a healthy margin <laughs> If, yeah. if he wins tonight, he can have, like, what will it be? Nearly 60 points. Nearly 60 point, uh, uh, 60 point lead. So quite a few races in hand. Yeah, well, no one um, behind Stoop is able to score points up to uh, Smith in, uh, is that ninth place yeah. in the standings? Because yeah, Armour Red, exactly. Wookiee, B17 have all crashed out. Mm -hmm. Melvin, as you said, not racing tonight. Friddy is... Well, Friddy's only just joined. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he potentially could make quite a lot of ground up in the standings if he can string a few races together. But that's a big gap. It is. Yeah, 69 points. Um, okay. Pace-wise, though, as well with, uh... sorry. Pace-wise, though, Freddy looks like he could oh, be yeah. a real contender. Yeah, he had plenty of pace last week uh, in Spain. Uh, I can't remember what happened to him at, uh, during the middle of the race. I think he had a spin or something, so he was at the back, and I don't know how he managed to, but uh, accidents, whatever, he got into P3, 
So, oh, P2, sorry, P2, so very decent result for him. Um, but he can definitely go for the oh, wins. Oh, what's and happened got, in the got... castle section? Fox it River. No, it's, it's Fox. What happened there? Did, did people slow down too much or something? Well, I saw, um, I saw Lauke's name, I think, look. dropping down the order. So yeah. maybe he had a moment, and then Fox River must have got involved. Um, obviously, in the castle back. section, it's super tight through there. I don't know what happened. I, th I think he just spun. I think he just spun. And with the it safety car now coming him. in, Fox River is pretty much screwed oh, because he's going to have to pit, and he's going to be a long way back. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a real shame. So it'll be mediums or halves from here. Yes, he might fancy another set of mediums if he's got one available. Bobo controlling the field once again for the restart. He went quite late last time. Will he do the again. same this time? Yeah, well, he's definitely going late. There mm. he goes. Not really mixing it up, but yeah. Makes things quite tight behind him. And Freddy yep. is probably going to be the man to watch at this stage. Closing in on Dumbest Hornet in the Aston Martin. Yep, those hard tires should soon be coming into their own. Oh, Stu has overshot it and has lost time to, to Bobo. That could have, been, could have ended badly into turn four. And Friddy has got through. And G-Star wow. and Domis Hornet going side by side. I think well G-Star may have got that done. Yep. He's burst into your one driver. Wow. Oh, Bobo. Oh, no. What's oh, no. happened to Bobo? Oh, no. And another safety car. The race leader. Right. That's um, turn seven, so just before the castle section. He must have just outbraked himself. I didn't mean it earlier on when I said that we've got too many quick Dutch drivers. He didn't <laughs> have to go to, in, into the ball. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, well, okay. So it's it should be a, a fight between Stu and Freddy. Um, yeah, no, that's a shame. Yeah, Bobo will be absolutely kicking himself about that one. Mm. He was in a great position, and uh, we didn't see what happened, but uh, it looks like he might have thrown away a potential race win or certainly a podium. Massive points, yeah, for sure. Who's coming in this time? The top four are all pitting. Jackson now moves into the lead from Laupi and Jamer is back up towards the front end once more. It's soft for Freddy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we know that the maximum number of safety cars you can get in a, in a race is five. Yeah. We've had four. Yeah. So we can only ah. get one more. I think even if you get one more, there'll be one too many laps for soft tyres, don't you think? I'd have thought so. Uh, unless, well, uh, no, he should have mediums left. So that safety car came out lap 14, so we should be racing again lap 17, so really that's that would be 10 laps, basically. Yeah, and yeah. And if we get another safety car... We can bring Obviously, it down to seven or eight. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, those tires will be a bit dodgy at the end. But to be honest, he's only in a race with with uh, Stoob, Smith, and Jamer. So, as long as he can find a way to beat these guys, that's all that will matter. But Jamer is ahead, well ahead, with tires that will go to the end. 
Yeah, and there's quite a bit of traffic in between Stube in ninth and Jamer. Six cars Ooh. there. Yeah. So I'd say at the moment it's definitely advantage Jamer, but who's to say? Who's to say what will happen next here? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't expecting Bobo to <laughs> to be here crashing out of this race. So anything can happen here. Fox will be catching up at the back. Some very quick drivers at the back. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much everyone from ninth place and downwards is is a pretty quick driver mm. and, and on they're fresh, all on fresh on tires fresh, uh, yep yep tires as well yeah oh did g-star get a delta there he slowed well down lost infinity in the pits once again fox is coming into the pits as well fox is a bit, yeah maybe he's thinking that soft is a bit too early no he's yes. gone to soft again oh okay I'm lost. <laughs> Why not? Why not pit again? Uh, you save a lap of um, of wear, but uh, that's true. Yeah. He was at the back. He didn't need to pit that first time. But yeah, could have gone to. I still think mediums is the the best bet here. Ten laps is a long way. Yeah. This track is so, so aggressive on your rear tyres. It's an absolute madness. Yeah, you have to treat them very nicely to, to to keep them to the end. Yeah, I noticed this on on Monday because when them, I think when the first safety car came out in our elite tier race, I was actually behind you, and. Yeah. I noticed that you stayed out, so I decided to stay out as well. <laughs> but my rears were on fire. Like I think yeah, I had yeah. like ten percent rear on the fronts, and then like thirty percent wear on the on what? the rear tires. So then, you what's three the three times the amount of wear? Yeah, I don't know what the hell I was doing. Oh, but... I, would, I, I would have pit if I were you. Bloody hell! Yeah, and then that's, when the when the mad. safety car came in, I was just sliding about all over the show. It was crazy. Yeah, I, I bet you were. Yeah, I had twice as much wear at the back, uh, which I think is already bad enough. <laughs> yeah, in wet conditions, it's horrible. In dry conditions, it's about half as much wear. Like if mm. you have ten at the front, fifteen at the back, about. But yeah, in the wet, it's unsustainable. Yeah, but I don't. I don't we've think got a I new have the pace setter. Jackster will be uh, giving the the green light. Yeah, and let's see what he chooses to do in terms of when he starts to pull away. Is he going to pull he... a stoop and leave it late? Uh... There he goes. And he's gone. It's worked well enough, but the toast pretty powerful, so he was always going to be caught up in the end. Ooh. And once again, it looks like yep. fairly clean in the first corner, at least. Yep. Credit ways you. Let's just try and keep that up for the rest of the race now, guys. Yes, please. Yep. Fox one position up. Fanning locked up a bit there. And now Bergen had a look on Fanning, but not close enough. I think Fanning got a bit too close to Jamer coming up to turn three. And now Jamer is right on the back of uh, Laupi. And I think wisely backs out of that into turn seven. Yeah, he's loving this. He's fighting with the tier one driver. 
Yeah. Jackster has pulled out a second already. So there'll be no DRS for, for Laupi. Jamo is all over him. Jackster will be thanking him for that. This Laupi is too busy looking backwards and not looking forwards. And, yeah. and he might be caught in, at the end of this, uh, this straight. He's leading a train of three cars behind him. Jamer, Fanning and Bergen are all in very close attendance. Yep. Let's see if the slipstream is strong enough if, to see any moves into turn one. Jamer going through on the wow. inside. Well done, mate. And Bergen as well past Fanning for fourth place. Fox River with the fastest lap on fresh soft tyres. Oh. And now... Fanning and Bergen. Fanning's going back through. Wow, a nice, a nice move there to take that place back. Still battling though up towards turn three, side by side into the braking zone, and Bergen has taken it back again. Are we racing or are we doing ping pong? <laughs> oh, G Star, G Star's out. Wow. That's a surprise to see a, a tier Steven one driver. Has gone too, uh, too deep. He's at the back. Oh no! This could be race defining. Eight laps from the end. Jaxa has lost a lot of time somewhere because Jamo is now closing in yep. on taking oh. the race lead. Or is it just Jamer being very quick? I mean, it could He's be, but I, I feel like Jackster's lead before a, a few seconds ago was was about one and a half seconds. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was. But look at the gap behind uh, Jamer. He's pulled away. He has. I don't think he'll so get he's DRS. He's looking for a move into turn one. Uh, DRS he is. already. No, it won't be for another lap, I think. Oh, okay. But Jamer okay. has gone through. I don't know if Jack Star even uh, let him through there in order to get the DRS down into turn number three. I think he might have Could done, be. you know. Could be. Uh, well, we've got a even, yellow flag. Not sure why. Even if it weren't to have DRS, I don't think it, there would have been any point in defending. It's very hard to defend that when when the car yeah. is, has got so much slipstream on you. Yeah, so Jamer has taken the lead and even in the space of a few corners, he's pulling away significantly from Jackster. Uh, this is a nightmare for, nightmare for Stoob. He's just bit for a new front wing and has got fresh, fresh sauce for the end. So he'll probably get another... Uh, a point for, for the fastest lap. And, and with the number of reserves, as we've mentioned, mm. as long as he finishes, he's still on for a decent points haul. Yeah, he could be in for a P4, P5, even if he finishes P12. Oh, Lost Infinity's gone uh, straight on again. Ah. Oh, and oh, that's a Red Bull off. Freddy, Freddy is out no of the way. race. Oh, it, it went side by side there. I think it might have been with Laupi. And on the inside, Freddy just got a touch and lost control oh. into the wall. And that's and a huge contender. And then there were 12, but no safety car. Yeah, so maybe the limit for this particular race has been... Uh has been uh, attained as Thomas Hornet goes in uh, goes through uh, Smith well we've had a few virtual safety cars as well so maybe if we've had uh, two or three of them maybe yeah. that uh, kind of cancels out one of the safety cars I don't know I I'm I'm not sure how the how the game's coded but I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it were the case yeah maybe yeah, that's so not James a bad shout. Still leading the way. 
Yeah, Jamer from Jackster and from Fanning. Fanning on eight lap old soft tyres. I'd be surprised if he can get those to the end. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a big ask. <laughs> uh, I think he'll be a bit. He'll be. He'll have been disappointed uh, these last few DNFs that there haven't been any uh, safety cars coming out. Um, because he he could be in danger towards the end. Yeah, maybe he was banking on there being another one, and mm. it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So there's a yellow flag in sector one, and uh, Fox has lost his front wing. This is a disastrous day for the for the Ferraris. Yeah, I mean they they qualified up near the front as well, and Stube, of course, led the race mm. for for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, as it stands, uh, Stoop can't do anything to to close the gap to, to Smith. He's 30 seconds away. Uh, with six and a half laps to go for him, there's no way he can close that gap. Domus Hornet has overtaken Laupi, Saviour as well. Mm -hmm. They're up into P6 and 7. Saviour thought about having a look past Domus Hornet into turn one, but wasn't quite close enough. He might be able to make a move on the second DRS straight, I think. Oh, Fox has uh -oh. crashed. I think this means there will be no safety cars till the end. Yeah, certainly. We've had three DNFs in a row and... Yeah. Nothing, no virtual, no. No nothing, so... This is a race till the end. Jamer, hold on. And he's got a three-second gap to Bergen. Fanning looked like he went a bit wide into turns five and six. And he's now got a train of Jackster, Hornet, Saviour, and I think Saviour's the last car in that queue, actually. He is. But yeah, yeah. all close up behind Fanning on nine lap old softs. He is yep. going to be feeling some pain right now on those tyres. All quick drivers, so yeah, he'll 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 be starting to panic. Yeah, he's the cork in the bottle at the moment, and Domis Hornet going for it up the inside on Jackstar. Jackstar able to hold it around the outside, but there's still well, Domis Hornet just pulling pulling out of that one before they got to the flat out uh, left and right hander. And this is going to be crazy down into turn one. Four drivers potentially going four wow. wide here. Oh, wow. Fanning is, is losing out big Getting time. It. Domis Hornet on the outside oh. of oh, Jack Sir and Saviour on the good. inside. Oh. And they make it through. Yeah, they made it through, but with one driver pulling out and another one running very wide. So, Ooh. I, I, Fanning, I don't like uh, the sight of it. Fanning had to pit as well out of all that. He's decided that he can't get those softs to the end. Yep. Yeah, still still gets out ahead of Stoop. And, oh, come on, no. Is that Laupi? No, that was uh, Lost Infinity. Oh. Come on. Oh. You, you, oh, yeah, he's out. You were five laps away from getting points. Big Saviour and Domus Hornet getting very close and Domus Hornet out breaking himself into turn seven. Yeah, Oof. when tire wear kicks in, uh, it's very easy to, to get very close to that wall. Yeah, he looked very, very close indeed to clipping the, the wall on the outside, but I think he just about kept it clean. And it allowed Saviour through. And unfortunately now the field has spread out quite a bit no one's really close to anyone else Dumbest Hornet having said that has got himself back into the DRS of Saviour so potentially something there down into turn one but apart um, from that oh big crash Dumbest Hornet is out no. of the race oh my goodness what I'm going to say is a bit mad but Stoob is closing the gap to Smith by about Four and a half, five seconds a lap. Could he catch up? To P6? 
26. What have we got? 20, 20, uh, 23, four it? laps to go. Four Three laps to laps. go. Nah, it's going to be too much. 20 seconds, is it? 20 seconds in four laps. Yeah, he'll, he'll have to be keeping that rhythm up and it might be too much. Yeah, he'll be needing a mistake. So we've got Jamer winning for the moment. Yeah, he's holding on to that lead. And we've got Saviour now going around the outside or trying to go around the outside of Jack Stark. It becomes the inside for turn number six. There was contact and Saviour had to save the car from spinning. Saviour mm -hmm. on the soft tyres looking, looking quick. Oof, Stu with a moment on the exit of uh, turn four. He caught it nicely, but it's all gone very, very quiet in uh, in Baku right now. Only nine uh, engines revving. Yeah, we've lost over over half the field with that that crash from Domis Hornet, which caught me completely by surprise where he <laughs> lost it. <laughs> well, that, that, a that, that is a tricky corner when you get tire wear. It's tricky in the wet and it's tricky in the in the dry as well when you you don't have any tires left airways is going past bergen for p2 yep has caught mm. up to jamer as well yeah with the drs there he's closed that gap quite significantly but jamer knows that he's not fighting them he's got to go to the end and he'll get the win the driver he's fighting is Smith. That is true. It's still, it is, you know, you, you want to be the one to... Oh, and then Airways, I think, has just Clipped knocked wall, off his it? front wing. Yeah, and on the exit of turn okay. three. So that's taken some of the pressure off Jamer. I was about to say that... Um, you know, you want, even though you know that you're fighting reserves and they can't score points, you still want to be the guy who crosses oh, the yeah. finish line in first place. Definitely. If you can, you want to do it. That's for sure. But don't do it at, at all costs. <laughs> no, for sure. Get the points. That's all that matters. And right yeah, now, if you are... Uh... Slowed down. And... Sorry? No, you go. I was saying that Stu has slowed down his uh, his catch-up rate. He's uh, 16 seconds behind now, I think. Yeah, 16 seconds behind, so uh, not catching up as quickly as everyone. So, sorry, what what were you going to say? Well, I was I, I was going to say that um, if you if you're still in this race and you're a, a cop tier driver, you're you're on the podium. Yeah. Between, uh, Smith <laughs> yeah. and Stu. I mean, <laughs> imagine getting a podium for getting your your front wing wrecked two or three times <laughs> yes uh, baku. Uh, yeah baku 101 baku in a nutshell airways I mean, into the pits this happens in real life as well bottas wasn't a lap down wasn't he and he got p2 or something yeah so you know, it's pre it's pretty realistic. Bottas P two. That's not something lap. I've heard for a while. Sorry. Bottas P two is not something I've heard for a while. Yeah, yeah. Hambot for <laughs> yes, an old classic. <laughs> and now it's uh. just ver. Yeah. And sometimes it's pervert too. Yeah. One day maybe. <laughs> we can which, only hope. Which is pretty, which reflects things uh, pretty well at Red Bull. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, we handpick our drivers to. Yeah. Anyways, just about a lap left. And if it all goes well, we'll get an American driver winning. What else could F1 be dreaming about? It 
Saviour might be having a look at Bergen into the pit straight on this final lap. He should, well, he should get this done easily. He's got DRS and quite a bit yeah. of overspeed by the looks of things. Yeah, that's too easy for the MLC GOAT. Yeah. And it's the last lap of the race. Are, they, are, are, are these guys just going to... I remember from watching uh, Bahrain, the first race of the yeah. season, I think you you stopped just before the line, didn't you, to let the comp tier boys come past. So uh, I wonder, will we see I'll everyone do let that? Them through, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and someone got a penalty actually for it. Someone got a penalty for, for having passed me uh, on the yellow flag. So uh, that was a shame that we got the penalty off, but yeah. Uh, the thing is, I don't think there's really any point um, in uh, drivers letting uh, letting the comp tier drivers through because it won't change the results. There are so many uh, demotions happening uh, that, yeah. well, wait, Fanning will be demoted, so that's one thing. Savior is demoted. Yeah, yeah. As things stand, they don't need to uh, to yield their position. They'll be demoted and it will, it will be a, a, a comp tier podium. Yep. And it's going to be led, I think it's safe to say that now, by Jamer in the Mercedes. He's just taken the final real corner of this circuit. It's just a flat out run to the finish line now. And a hectic race, I think it's safe to say, with all the safety cars. We didn't really know who was going to take this victory until pretty late on. Bergen's retired, not sure why, but Jay Mur is going to take the chequered flag and win the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in comp tier. And it's going to be Smith, his Mercedes teammate. So a 1-2 for Mercedes. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chris, we've got, to, we've got to get our 1-2 starting right now because we're losing the championship right now. Yeah. Somehow no, got to wrestle um, it away from you, Goni. Yeah. <laughs> uh, needing two drivers to beat Ugoni. This is bad. This is yeah. Verstappen bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but on a more serious note, though, uh, we've got Jamer, uh, a sport tier driver, winning in, in comp tier with what I would call an exemplary drive. He kept his nose clean. He's not been in trouble yeah. all race long. And me. there he is with the uh, yeah. US flag as well on the podium. That was nice to see. Mm -hmm. To me, he is driver of, driver of the day with no doubt whatsoever. Stepping yeah. up in the highs here and winning it with no mistakes. Yeah, Hats I'd down. have to agree. Hats off. Because he wasn't even, you know, it wasn't as if um, any of the reserves had to back off to give him the win. You know, he, he won that yeah, race yeah. outright. Yeah, yeah. Fair and square. Fair and square. Honestly, oh, no, that's yeah, really good. And good hopefully for him, he can carry, carry on having, having these kind of races and, and probably go up, go up the ranks. Right. Yeah. So just a quick run through of the results. As we said, Jamer, uh, the winner of that race from Saviour, Jackster, Laupi, Smith, Fanning, Stube, Airways, and then Bergen. He retired on the last lap, but he still counts as a finisher in that race. Um, but as we said, with you know the number of reserves tonight, it's basically Jamer from Smith and Stube. And then a whole host of retirements, which I'm not going to be able to run through in time because we're going to run out of time. <laughs> but yeah, crazy Crazy race, and yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I agree with you. And definitely, driver of the day would have to be Jamer. And yeah, I don't know. Any 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 final thoughts from you, Ant, before we wrap this up? Final thoughts is we've got, we've got one, one race, race left, left in Baku. Baku. Thank, Thank. <laughs> thanks a lot for just one race left. I was going to say another word there, but uh, yeah, thankfully <laughs> there's only one race in Baku left. Tune in for it. <laughs> yep, that's coming up shortly in about 15 minutes or so. The sports tier um, will get their turn. 
at this uh, challenging circuit. But, yep, that's all from yes. CompTIA, round six of the championship here at the Baku uh, Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to you, Ant, for joining me tonight. We've yeah, we've thanks, survived, thanks even me, if yeah. a lot of the drivers haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two in one and, piece. Yeah, and uh, thank you to everyone for watching. And we hope to see you in about 15 minutes' time for the sports tier. But from us, yeah. for now, take care.